matchup that um, Senator fans are, are used to. It's one that's been played quite a few times. I believe there are 22 matchups between these two teams. The Lady Cougars have been successful in 18 of those. The problem is the Senators are on a seven-game losing streak to these Cougars. The last time the Lady Senators won was the 2018-2019 sectional final where they were able to get the last sectional that they won um, against these Lady Cougars. But a lot has changed in the past um, seven years since that game was played. We've got two new head coaches um, from that time. Mike Lang from the Lady Cougars has moved on to the boys' side following his son. Uh, head coach Darren Russell has moved to AD, so we've got new new faces on the coaching sideline um, and looking to get a first win for the Lady Senators. I'm joined tonight by my broadcast partner, Mr. Ryan Batt. Ryan, what are your thoughts? You know, Craig, I, I appreciate, first of all, I want to thank you for doing the holiday tournament over there in Dubois. <laughs> I mean, that was... <laughs> it's kind of kind of good. You said I'm gonna do it from home. I was like, that's awesome. I don't know how many people on the radio tonight know that he did that from home, but that's you know he did both games, the boys and the girls. So you know to be able to call him that quick and on on the floor and everything, I was like, man, he's gonna be late. So I was like, no, he's pretty good. He like <laughs> maybe I was late, but yeah, it, I appreciate that, Craig, coming in there. But tonight, you know, like you say, the the uh, Trinity Lutheran comes in here tonight, the Cougars, and and you know it, it's a it's been a heated battle. I think. I think every game that we've ever played Trinity, we've been pretty close. And, and like you say, we I think we was in Edinburgh back when Darren Russell was coaching whenever we did win that sectional title up there. And one of the Monisas was probably playing. I remember that night. is pretty special for us. And, and uh, you know, that, that was a great win. But uh, I think Trinity graduated a pretty tough girl last year. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that probably needs no introduction. But, yeah, you know, Bailey, that, Bailey Tabling uh, is, yeah. is playing at Ohio right now. Yeah, so. right. So, <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's keep her there in Ohio and hope she don't come back to, to high school basketball because <laughs> that girl was good. Now I don't I don't know how many how many points did she end up having? Uh, she was over two thousand. I believe she is the leading scorer in their yeah. county. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I mean, just an outstanding performance with her. And you know, like I said, we played them pretty close last year. I don't remember the score, but I thought it, I thought it was close at least a little bit in the game. But uh, you know, I, I think tonight we got to come in here and, and <laughs> we say this every game, and we probably sound like a broken record to you at home. But you know, we got to come out here and set the momentum of the game. And uh, we just looked over the roster there a little bit. There, you know, we got it looks like a young team, kind of like what we are, uh, that's coming in tonight and going to challenge us. I know there was only about five or six girls that came out for warm ups before the JV girls came out here. So uh, I don't think they have a whole lot of players on their on their roster, but. Uh, they're going to pull a lot from the uh, JV team as far as substituting in tonight, I believe. And, and uh, you know, like I say, we need to pull out this win, the 7-7 seven and seven Cougars. And, uh, you know, we, we, we need this win going into our next game for sure. Yeah, our, our schedule doesn't get any friendlier from here. Um, we do travel to Rock Creek and play them. But then Crawford County is a is a, a, a really strong 2A team. Paoli always a strong 2A team. Then Brownstown and Borden, um, you know, and those are just – <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you've got to you've got to be ready to take your lumps on some of those. Um, you know the the senators doing doing well and looking forward to those next few games. Um, but this is a winnable game for the lady senators, and they need to get this one. Yeah, we you know there, there's really no excuse not to win this game. And, and you know, like I say, it's our first game back in a couple games. You know, we went out to Du Bois, and we and you know, I, as as we you know, most people could see on the on the broadcast if you was able to watch it. You know, the Senators played pretty good. Uh, we kind of got in that first game and got just a little bit behind, I guess, as far as uh, we was kind of doing some errors and stuff like we had some errors and stuff like that. I think we only had, I don't even think uh, any of our players was double digits there in that first game no. of scoring. So nope. you know, that's unlikely for the Senators. And then and then uh, you know, come out in the second game and we kind of. We kind of dominated, uh, you know, North Davies as we went into that game. But, uh, uh, you know, it, it's one of those deals that the Senators got to come out tonight and they got to stay focused. You were at home. We have an excellent crowd. I think there's three ball games going on yeah, tonight. Yeah, they're, they're, you're uh, exactly right. And, and, you know, like there's there's a crowd. It's probably one of, you know, besides the Salem game, probably one of our biggest crowds we've had. we got Trinity Lutheran over here to our right. Uh, you know, they, they've brung a pretty decent crowd on their side over here on the home side or on their home, home team over here. Uh, you know, on our West Washington Senators, the home home court advantage, and we've got people across the gym, away, you know, over here on non-camera sides, pretty well full, and and uh, behind the bench. And I, I tell you what, it's I think it's going to be a pretty good game. We got to set the momentum, though. That's that's just the key to the game is when the Senators come out and set the momentum, 
and get up and down the court and play the, you know, play the sophomores. Jalen Meredith get up there and running, and you know, we get Lily in the game and and get focused. We got we, you know, we need to take advantage of some of this stuff. Yeah, you're you're exactly right. I mean, the the lady senators do kind of go as their their sophomore group goes when. Uh, Meredith and Jayla are able to score and and be super productive. The the Lady Senators are a hard team to beat. It's it's when that you know when they aren't productive. Where do we go next? Right, and I and I think you know we've seen different players. We've seen Ava step up. We've seen we've seen Lily step up. We've seen Shelby step up. We've seen, you know Emma Emma is one that you know I talked to her dad Kenny there the other day and he was at the farm and I said I said you know she's the funnest kid to watch kind of out there on the court because she's always everywhere. And she comes up with a rebound. She comes up with something, you know. So, like, Emma's probably not in our leading scorer book right now. But I tell you what, the little things that she does, I mean, th these girls have got it going on. And they, and they got everything moving. You know, Layla comes off the bench and, and come in there and pull the rebounds down. We got, the, you know, uh, the Elena Schmidt that comes in, the little sister, the sophomore, comes in there with just a ball of aggression as she comes in there and guards people. And I, I think, you know, if we get, we got to keep Ava out of foul trouble tonight. I think Ava does a great job inside. She's big. She can rebound. She can shoot well, excellent free throw shooter. We just got to keep her out of foul trouble to keep her in the game. Yeah, you're, you, you know, you're, you're hitting the nail on the head right there. Foul trouble with the the Lady Senators. We can't be in foul trouble, or it's going to be, you know, a, a not not great night for the for the Senators. Um, you know, the 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 question is, can this team get over the hump of not being able to beat the Lady Cougars? It's been seven years since they've been able to do it. These girls have never the, – the seniors on the floor have never beaten the, the um, Lady Cougars. You know, the, the last person in this gym to beat the Lady Cougars is now on the coaching staff. Ryan Russell <laughs> yeah, is, is yeah. the last, you know, one to beat these Lady Cougars. How do you, how do you prepare for that? This team has just had West Washington's number. Yeah, I mean, and like I say, they, they're uh, – I think they still are a sectional opponent, right? Is no, it? Well, they're in the our oh, they, old they sectional. Moved. Okay, yeah, they moved. they're in all our right, old right, sectional. Yep, so. Yep, yep. so, so you know, like I say, that they're coming in here and, and used to be a sectional opponent. It's a team we played, you know, once, twice, and, and sometimes maybe three times a season. And you know, like I say, we just we can't get over the hump. And and I think you know we come in here to prepare. And you know, and like you said, to start off the broadcast, you know, Craig, we got two new coaches coming in here. So so it's kind of hard to predict. I know that the the coach that's now took over. Uh, uh, you know the boys. He went from the girls to the boys, and you know that that guy there. He was aggressive. He was always out there, you know, getting his team motivated. Uh, just excellent coach, and you know. And one thing I can I can tell you now is, you know, the the size wise, you know, Trinity always before coming into game probably been a little bit bigger. I think tonight the matchup we're bigger than they are. Yeah, yeah. They've got um, a couple of freshmen who are, who have some size, but you know, predominantly they're gonna they're gonna be the shorter team um, against us tonight. And, and even at that, I'm not so sure that we don't have the better guard play tonight also. So that's going to be a, a, an interesting, you know, kind of kind of matchup between the two teams, you know, of who can handle the ball, who can get the ball up the floor and get into their offense and, and you know, play how, how they're expected to play. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Craig. And, then, you know, like I say, we're, we're loaded – we, we've said this on the broadcast before, and I hope everybody's been out to the games to see what we say, but, you know, the, we're loaded with, with talent on our bench. And, you know, when one of the guards get in foul trouble, and I know we've been running Meredith kind of a guard forward and and then running uh, Shelby and, and Elena or Emma as the guards, and, and, you know, it's kind of one of those deals that we got to, you know, keep those guys in there. But when we do, we got the players coming off the bench like Lily that come in there and, and benefit off of that as well. Yeah, you're you're right. We're about a minute 30 away from our um, opening tip. So with that, we're going to go ahead and step aside, get in some of our, um, you know, our commercials and things, make sure that we get those their due credit because they are the ones that allow us to bring you those these games. Um, and then we'll have our starting lineup. But before we do that, I want to – uh, make sure we get their names out so that everybody knows who our sponsors are. We've got Sullivan Financial, the Washington County um, Community Foundations, United Producers, Ryan Bat, who I got a nice sweatshirt from today. So, you know, that was a, a big hit there. Gilstraps Motors, um, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, Michael Long with American Family Insurance, um, the Washington County Substance Abuse, and, of course, the IHSAA. So those are always the um, – ones the sponsors that we really look forward to and they allow us to bring you these games so with that we're going to step aside take a commercial break we'll be back for the national anthem and our starting lineups 
Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller. I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic yeah. potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent... say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave <laughs> Back to action here at West Washington, where the Lady Senators do take on the Lady Cougars tonight of Trinity Lutheran. Lady Cougars going to go with a two guard, three forward set. Their first guard is number five, Liza Froge, the 5'8 senior, averaging nine points, four rebounds. Up next is number 11, Jordan Brewer, the 5'4 junior, averaging seven points, one rebound. Then number 12, Laura Roeder, the 5'2 junior, averaging five points and three rebounds. Their uh, other forward is Marley Warren, the 5'5 freshman, averaging 12 points, four rebounds. And number 24, Madison Keith, the 5'7 junior, averaging 16 points, 10 rebounds. The Lady Cougars are coached by Mr. Darren Keith. Lady Senators going to go with their regular starting lineup. <clears throat> They're going to start the three-guard set. The first guard is Emma Schmidt, the 5'4 junior, averaging five points, three re rebounds, number three. The second guard is Shelby Griffiths, number 12, the 5'4 senior, averaging five points, two rebounds. And the third guard in their three-guard set is number 10, the 5'5 sophomore, averaging 14 points, six rebounds. That's Meredith Deaton. Their two forwards that they go with are number five, Jayla Batt, the 5'7 sophomore, averaging 11 points, eight rebounds. And number 32, Ava Woods, averaging um, five points, three rebounds, the 5'11 junior. So we're out ready for the start of this one. I think the girls are going to have to get some rubber bands put on their T-shirts when they throw them out. They're just kind of going over <laughs> the baseline. <laughs> you know, Terry, we talked about it earlier, the size out there. You can see it on camera if you're watching and if you're on the radio, you can't. But, you know, we're, we're sized up probably a little bigger than they are. Yeah. And I think we should, you know, we should be able to take advantage of this. They control the opening tip, but we're able to get it after that. So, Senator's going to come out in their motion offense, set up, ready to go. Good ball movement working by the Senator so far. When we see our bigs running the, the baseline side to side, when you see Jayla Bat doing that, that's a, a good thing for the Senators. Comes in the middle to Schmidt, two dribbles up, misses that one. But Jayla there to get it. 
No rebound, Meredith Deaton comes out. Jayla goes up, unable to get that one up on the board, but going to uh, gonna stay yeah, yeah, gonna center stay the ball. Here. <laughs> stay here. And, you know, I, I, I talked with Jayla there for the game. I said, you know, you guys, you and Meredith have to drive to the basket. You have to get in the basket. That one inbounded to Shelby Griffiths. Reverse dribble there, finally gets an opening, goes up, unable to knock that one in. So Senators 0 for 3 so a far. Lid on the basket tonight. That's a rebound for the Lady Senators coming the other way, out ahead to Jayla. She goes up and knocks that one in. Gets the lid off the basket. There we go. <laughs> Nice reverse pivot there. That one no good. Senators quickly back the other way. And this is what we're after, Craig. This is what we talked about. If you can see on, see on the broadcast now, we're down, we're running the court. we got to run that court and we got to attack that basket. Jayla, nice drive. Unable to get that one. Meredith with the rebound. Goes back up. No good there. Gets her own rebound. That's going to be Schmidt for three. No good there. Ava Wood's going to pick up that foul. And that's what we talked about with Ava. You know, we're, we're 100 feet from the goal. There's no reason to go over the back. And that's what you got to got to get her to not go over the back because we're going to need her. She's a big girl, and we're yeah. going to need her size. I mean, because like I say, we're, you know, she's the biggest girl on the court as far as the height and can definitely get some post positions tonight. Nice job there of the Lady Cougars running their offense down the lane. Meredith Deaton gets there, gets her hand on it, but is going to pick up a foul because she gets a lot of arm too. Yeah, that's – Meredith kind of got the reach and then she thought about going again and then finally went for it and it's a little bit too late. We're going to get a jump ball there. Going to stay with the Lady Cougars. 6.08 to go here in the first. Cougars come out, run their out of bounds play, get it in and down the lane goes 20. No good, Meredith with the rebound. Senator still with only a two point lead here. That's a mismatch right there yeah. all night long. And that's what we got to do. We got to get 24 the Keith girl in foul trouble. She's the leading scorer for the team. Well, and they're they're putting her on Jayla, trying to keep her away from Meredith. But yep. that's where Jayla's got the size advantage. She needs to go straight down to the paint. Steps up to the line, misses that first one. She is a 58% free throw shooter on the year. It has gone up 6%. Yeah, hey, hey, I tell you what, we used to tell the attorney that I think she only missed two all, you know, for both games. Yep. Knocks that one in, so one of two tonight. Senators with a three-point lead, three to nothing. See their hands up, Craig. Is there, you yeah. know, the Senators got their hands up. They're active. They're ready to go. That's a turnover for the Lady Cougars. They're second. Meredith Deaton pulls up. That one no good. Nice Euro step there. Meredith going to get the <laughs> rebound on that side. She's going to have 10 rebounds before she even gets a point. Yeah, she's working on it. Senators already have eight That's awesome. as a team. So That was a nice look there by Meredith. We just saw her too late. Schmidt goes up and misses that one. You know, I'll take that from Schmidt. That was, that was a good aggressive play right there, and she kind of fell off balance as she shot. I think she stepped on somebody's foot, but that was a nice shot, and she kept with it and drove right back in there. Cougars come back, run their offense, going the other way. Ball out to Froge on the three-point line. Nothing there. Fires it this time. That one's good for her. Nice shot. Tie game here at three. Deaton looks at a three, but then gives it off to Griffiths underneath to Jayla. Unable to knock that one down. Don't pick up the foul there, Jill. Yeah. <laughs> Go, 
It's another three-point miss for the Lady Cougars. Yeah, and we're running now. There goes Meredith. Meredith goes up and gets her first bucket of the night. Breaks that tie. That three no good. Jayla with the rebound. Kicks it ahead to Meredith. Cougars come back in there man to man. Senators try and overload on this side. They get it to Shelby on that side, but she's unable to get to the baseline, so. That's a good move by Yeah, that's a good pass there. right there. Ava Woods with the rebound goes up and gets and that's, that. That's where we're at, Craig. Ava's got – she's as strong as anyone out there on the court and just can move that ball. And, you know, that, that's a perfect opportunity for her to get on the scoring column. It's another two-point miss for the – Yeah, Jayla's got to throw that ball. She gets a good rebound, boxed out, but we gave up the turnover. <laughs> and then they turn it right back over yeah. to us. So, here's the stat so far. Twelve rebounds for the Senators. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I'm pretty excited the way they're playing. I think it beat a lot of teams tonight. tonight. They're, they're doing back doors, they're cutting, they're moving, dri driving to the basket. And one. Nice job there by Jay Levatt. She's got five, going to pick up a foul on 24. Madison Keith, her second. So she's going to have to come out. That is one of two from the free throw line tonight. That one good. That's a quick six points there for Jayla to start off the night. We've got a 30 second timeout, so we're gonna go ahead, step aside, take a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. Thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported. Back to live action here at West Washington. Sorry that that was just part of a commercial. My uh, board is not working, so we're running it blind, kind of. We may have to do them on ourselves, <laughs> Craig. We just call out the commercial for oh, ourselves. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I about got them memorized, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Cougars come out running their offense. This is where it's a little bit of a mismatch because Woods has got um, Keith. But when she gets 20 feet away from the bucket, Ava's got a hard time guarding her. So Shelby Griffith's going to pick up the foul there. Trinity opting, opt, opting to leave in Madison Keith. I mean, she got two fouls, two minutes to go in the first quarter. Yeah, she's uh. got – she averages 16 points for him. So she's their offensive threat. You can't really go without her too yeah, long. Yeah. That second one up and good for her. Senators come out in their, their motion. It's a dangerous pass. Nice handoff there. Lily Thompson checks into the game. I didn't see her get yeah, she in. She checked in for Jayla. Yeah, she gets straight to the rim. So going to be first foul on Laura Roeder. Lily Thompson goes to the line where she's only a 42% free throw shooter. <laughs> we're going to have to work on it. We're, yeah, we we're going to have to have Sundays in the bat basketball barn. Yeah, if if, uh, if we thought Jayla struggled, Lily struggles from the yeah, line. So, yeah. um, Which is funny because she is an excellent three-point shooter. Yeah. Normally those go hand-in-hand. 
Able to get that one to go, though. She's now in the scoring column. Makes it 11 to 5. Keith down the lane. Wood's going to pick up her second with the body, and like I said, that's just a mismatch. She doesn't have the foot speed to be able to keep up with Keith. Right. You know, Keith is able to get by her, which is um, you know, the, the problem there. And, you know, Ava, like I said, when we started the game, we had to keep her out of foul trouble. That's kind of what we get into every game. Ava brings a lot to the table. Yeah. She does. She oh, brings yeah. a lot to the table for the Senators. Well, and she's a mismatch on a lot of people. Uh, yeah, and that's the, yeah, that's the yeah. way it is at the other end. She's a big mismatch at the other end. But on this end, she's trying to guard Madison Keith. And Madison, yeah. you know, just has more foot speed than her and exactly. is able to get around her. That's exactly right. So. Looks like Madison's hurt. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's a Maybe she got a little knee, knee injury. I'm not sure if her and Ava hit knees or, or something as they. Yeah, I don't know if they, they hit little, knees. She's in pretty good pain. And yeah. They, uh, Damien's going to check her out. Yeah, it looks like a pretty big bump on the end of that knee. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. And that's a big hit for the um, Trinity Lutheran Cougars. That's their leading score with 16.4 points a game. So. Yeah, that's a pretty big bump. Yeah. Mm. That's uh, Liza Froge with another yeah. three-point bucket. She's got six of yeah, their seven. Got, oh, yeah. Is our scoreboard wrong or is, there, is the school scoreboard wrong? Because it's showing that. Yeah, something's up down there. Yeah, something's not right. Meredith Deaton with the put in and the foul. She'll the line to shoot one. So Meredith hit that two. And has that one also. I'll have to go and check and see what's going on. Because I've got 16 to 7, but then the scoreboard says 14 to 8. Yeah, so. and I, I don't keep track because you keep track. <laughs> so <laughs> that, was, that was number 11 there for the Cougars. Yeah, nice bucket uh, down the Cougars lane. there. Jordan Brewer hits that one. There's a takeaway yeah. for Brewer, yeah. Brewer takes that one away and off to um, That was Warren. 20 Warren for yeah. the bucket there. Senators getting this one kind of back together now. Shelby Griffiths for three. That one no good. Cougars able to come out of there with the rebound. Cougars pushing. They're, they're running. Oh, oh. looked like a block by Emma Schmidt, but they didn't call it. 16 seconds to go. Jalen on the rebound, taking it the other way. Off to Emma, throws it away. Going to turn it over and come back the other way. Better shoot the ball. Shelby. No good on the final attempt. <laughs> That's going to bring the end to our first quarter. Depending on what you're looking at, the score might be 16 to 11 or 14, 14 to 12. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to step aside and have a commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to live action here at West Washington, where the Lady Senators, we're going to go with their score. The, the Senators lead by two. <laughs> 
we'll sort it out at halftime, figure out who's got what. Yeah, we'll fix it at halftime. We'll get the bookkeeper to yeah. shoot it up here and make sure we're <clears throat> equivalent. Shelby handling the ball at the top of the court, gets it off to Meredith. Come around to Lily. Got Adele Brown checked Adele in. Adele Brown the game. checked in. That's a good good move for the Senators. We haven't seen Adele Brown play a whole lot of minutes, so if she's getting in the game, that's yeah. a good sign for the Senators. That's a three point miss from Lily Thompson. Yeah. Senators going to get into a little bit of a press on action here. Yeah, they're going to set up in their 1 2 2. Lady Cougars go over the top of it. That's a two-point miss from them. Senators come out with that rebound. They kick it ahead to Meredith. Meredith unable to keep that one inbound. Oh, she does keep it inbounds. It's going to be a turnover for the Lady Senators. Kicked ahead to 11. That is Jordan Brewer. She's got a, her fourth point of the night. Yeah, 14-14 on the scoreboard. Senators need to get back in control of this game. Senators were out to a big lead, and then it came back. So it be interesting to see what adjustments Coach Missmore makes. Meredith handling the ball out almost on the flying W. It's going to be a jump ball. Here's a trivia question for you, Ryan. Is it a flying W or a motion W? <laughs> you're the you're the uh, West Washington alum here, so oh, yeah, I don't know. Like I, when I was there, you just drew a bunch of sticks and it looked like W. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Cougars back at it, gonna retain possession there. Shelby Griffiths with the last one to get their hand on the ball. That is a good question because I think that thing come into effect about the time we went to state in football, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So some debate on if it's a motion W or a flying W. That's a two-point two bucket from Jordan Brewer. She now has six. We can get some of our fans to text you some information yeah, on that. Yeah, Well, so the reason I ask, it's like Wisconsin's W, and they call it a motion W. But if Got you ask you. people from West Washington, it's a flying W. Yeah. Jayla on the hustle there. Brewer gets it. Jayla steals it back to Adele Brown. Goes up and gets that one blocked. Right. Lily Thompson there. She's out of bounds. Be Senator Ball. Yep, going to be Senator Ball. Senators do trail by two here. Senators inbound it to Lily Thompson. She works it around the top to Meredith Deaton for three. Bang. One of those times you can see you see Meredith when she shoots it, you about know when it's going to go in. Yeah, for sure. Meredith gets beat cool. on the other end. And look on that help side defense. Yeah, that's Roeder who gets her first two-point bucket. Senators going to take a full timeout here. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break, and be back in just a moment. Expertise. Resources. Commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Back to live action here at West Washington where the Lady Senators do trail by one, 18 to 17, 534 left to go here in the first half of play. Senators came out there early in the start of the first quarter and ran real good, real strong, real hard. And then we kind of we, we kind of just hit a slump. Uh, you know, we get uh, ever, it seems like ever since Keith went out with the leg injury, uh, Cougars leading scorer, we've kind of put the put the guard down a little bit. And I think we got to come back here and, and pick some things up. It's good that. Coach Messmore called that timeout and got uh, got everything all rearranged here. Hopefully we come out and get some motion movement and get some points on the board. Ava Woods checks back into the game with her two personal fouls. Both of those came against Madison Keith, who has exited the sideline of the Lady Cougars. So 
Lily Thompson trying to get it to Jayla Bat on the post, but unable to do so. So they get it to her on the wing. Yeah, that girl's overplaying Jayla. She needs to take her down. Lily Thompson goes, puts that one up, unable to get it to go, but going to go to the line for two free throws. That's going to be Froze who picks up her first personal. Well, I believe they called it a Warren Craig. Oh, did they? Okay. Yep. Well, that's okay. That's her first two. <laughs> Cougar fans not happy with that foul no, because uh, apparently Warren was not anywhere close to that play. <laughs> so She was kind of the trailer. Well. Lily missed the first shot. We're going to have to get Lily's free throw percentage up. She's going to have to come hang out at the free throw barn. Yep. And this is the second one also. Cougars quickly back to the other end, going to drive. Jayla picks up that foul. Yeah, that was kind of a cheap foul there, I tell you. That. She got her money's worth, though. <laughs> yeah, one of those that you she, trip over top of somebody. Yeah, and, and land on somebody else. Yeah, so yeah. Jayla picks up that foul, her first of the night. They go into Froge. Shelby, Shelby Griffiths just takes yeah. it away. Four on five here. They get it to Jayla on the wing. Now they're looking to Lily at the free throw line. There's an errant pass. It's going to be a jump ball. Kind of a. You know, when you get into high school basketball, and I was just watching, you know, Amity play down there in the seventh <laughs> grade, it's, you don't always have to throw it to the middle, even though yeah. your play says that. You know, like yep. it's kind of frustrating to watch it. But, you know, I, I get it. They're learning. They're trying to get some stuff done. Comes into Shelby Griffiths in the backcourt. She breaks the half court line on the. <laughs> going to be an offensive foul. I'm not sure who they're going to call it on Lily Thompson. That's her first. Yeah. She's going to take the top stay, of this. Staying on Lily and, and guarding her pretty hard. And then, you know, Lily kind of trips over and looks like a shove off. And we're going to have to watch that. That's a three-point bucket for Jordan Brewer. She's got nine. 21-17, Lady Cougars Looks out like ahead. like Brewer's going to pick up the slack from Keith. Brewer comes around bat to knock that one out of bounds. Comes into Deaton. Deaton then turns and throws that one away. She had to be out of bounds, yeah. So we're going to have turnovers coming on both sides. The Lady Cougars did get that turnover, but then turn it right back over. So. Yeah. I wonder if the two Brewer girls are sisters. I don't know. They look a lot, a lot, a lot alike. One sophomore and one junior, I believe. One senior and one junior. Senders set back up in their offense. Bat goes down the line one-handed. That's no good. She almost comes out with her own rebound, but going to be tipped out of bounds. They're going to retain possession. Get it into Woods. Woods goes up, doesn't get that one to go. And then it's going to be tipped out of bounds, going to stay with the Lady Senators. That's the thing where Ava, she was by far big and strong in there and just got to get that finish on there. Senators having a little bit of trouble getting it in. They finally do get it into Lily Thompson, who then gives it off to Schmidt to set up the offense. Oh, Jayla misses that one. I'm not sure what she's doing shooting one-handed like that. I, Lily picked the pocket. The Brewer, she's going to go coast to coast. Going to get that one blocked on the other side. And then Schmidt goes over the top of, I believe that's Froge that she gets. Going to be her for her. Oh, he calls it on Jayla, not even around. I don't exactly understand that one. That's the team's third. Jayla's second. <laughs> she, was, she was on the other end of the court. 
You know, we, and we've seen that a lot in the holiday tournament over there too, Craig, is refs not calling the right numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we throw a rocket. Lily Thompson launches that one. Layla Manship comes in, 23. Cougars working their motion offense, looking for some cutters. Lily Thompson, nice job getting her hands on that one. Schmidt gets to the baseline first, able to cut that. Uh, mm. Lily going to pick up her second on that three-point attempt uh, by Warren. So Marley Warren, the 5'5 freshman, going to go to the line. 67% free throw shooter. She's going to shoot three. Three of them. Mm. First one up and good. Senators now trail by five. 245 left to go. Second one, no good. Apparently, the girls weren't listening because it was three that she gets <laughs> yeah, to shoot. They're ready to go. I hope they use that momentum going the other way. Next one, that one's up and good. So Marley Warren now has four. 23-17. Lady Cougars up six. Nice reverse pivot there by Jayla over to Layla Manship. Going to go up and there get the end one opportunity. Good job by Layla. Blue 11. So Brewer going to pick up her first. <laughs> As Brewer takes her earring out. <laughs> and this coach secretly puts it in his pocket. Manship steps to the line. Knocks that hey, one in. Shot. That's going to help her free throw percentage, which is 40%. So hey. that's going to help. We're going to have to go to the barn. You know, Trinity's doing a good job. They're setting solid screens out there, and we're just we're just falling off. Warren knocks down that three, gives her seven. Cougars up six. Senators running through their motion offense. Almost gets that one taken away. Jayla finally clears it, but isn't able to knock that one down. Cougars come out with the rebound out ahead. And that's a layup for yeah. Froge. Senators quickly to the other end. Minute 40 to go here in the first half of play. Deaton over to Bat. Bat drives baseline. Step back three for Deaton. Bang. You got it. it. Gives her 11. Down the lane. That's the first two-point miss I think they've had in a while. Quickly out to Lily Thompson for three. She feels it. Nails that one. Gives her four. Like that, Senators. 26-28 down two. 52 seconds to go. Cougars bring it across the half-court timeline. Froze for three. That one no good. But two Senators run into each other, and Jayla gets her hand on that one. Froze going to pick up a technical foul out here on the court. Yeah. So now Meredith Deaton going to go to the line, which she was out for a layup on that one. So yeah, she was, we was going to get a score. Deaton steps to the line. 
First one's no good. Too hard. Senator seven of 12 in the first half. Knocks in the second one. So that gives her 12. It's going to be Senator Ball. Senators do trail by one here. Shelby Griffiths checks in for Jayla. 36 seconds to go here in the first half. Shelby thinks about it, but yeah. pulls it back out. Shelby's 20 seconds pull to go. It out there. Deaton off to Thompson, around to Schmidt. Deaton wide open underneath. Nice job there by Meredith. They're unable to knock down that two point bucket to end the first half. Senators do lead 29 28. We're going to step aside, uh, figure out where I'm missing some points on my side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to have the commissioner's corner, and we'll be back for more action here in just a little bit. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with Paul Neidig, the Commissioner of the IHSAA. We'll talk about it all things particular to the IHSA. Commissioner, thanks for being with me. We're in the midst of uh, basketball. We're heavily into basketball. This Christmas season is always one that people look forward to. It's kind of a you know, line of demarcation, if you will, that the basketball is clearly upon us. And there's been some exciting games, lots and lots of great things going on on the boys' and girls' side in terms of basketball in our state right now. There is, Coach. And, you know, the girls' season is just about half over. And, yeah. you know, and, and again, the excitement continues to build around the, the girls' basketball. And i got to give a shout-out to our partner, the Fever, and, and that number one draft choice that they were able to yeah. get last yeah. week. And, you know, um, but, you know, there's a, there's a lot of excitement around the girls' game right now. And, you know, so that's that's really good. And the boys' season, you know, they're still uh, still kind of getting started here. But it's it, – Right. It, I always right. call it tuna time coach you know is you know the education side the classroom settles down here as we move into the the christmas holidays and then coaches really get to spend some additional time with their student athletes they get to assess where they've been in the first half of the year and and, and make plans on the second half and they'll make their adjustments and change things up and and do what they need to do in an education-based system to uh, get these kids coached up for a great run uh through the rest of the winter here you are also and your staff are making plans for wrestling championship coming up and obviously continue to make plans for the boys and girls basketball tournaments. You guys never stop when it comes to tournaments. We don't coach. And, you know, we have a couple changes this year that I think obviously fans need to be aware of. But, uh, you know, we have a, a wonderful event coming to Indianapolis, and it's going to be, uh, we'll, we'll call it epic, Coach, but it's going to be the NBA All-Star Game that's going to come here uh, a little bit later after the, after the calendar turns. But, uh, you know, because of that, we're, we're going to step out of Indianapolis for one year, and we're going to go down to the Ford Center in Evansville, Indiana, and we're going to celebrate a state championship in our wrestling tournament down to Ford Center and uh, you know I don't know you know this but it's a wrestling hot yeah. and they're really excited about uh, being able to put their best foot forward and I think it's going to be the first time uh, that Evansville has ever been able to host a state championship in their community so we're excited about that and then uh, we have another little change when we get to the boys tournament this year is uh, little thing called the NCAA tournament that's going to be back here in Indianapolis this year and uh, <laughs> we're actually going to step away so between the semi-state tournament this year and boys basketball we're going to have a two-week break and we had that same break in 2020 with COVID 
Uh, right. And, you know, it worked right. out fine for us. Um, uh, it worked out fine for us, and so we we feel really strong about celebrating our state championship in Gamebridge Fieldhouse, the home of the Pacers, our, our other our partner. And so we're just going to have a two week break between semi state and state finals, and then we'll celebrate uh, the last Saturday in March, the boys basketball tournament, uh, as we do every year. Holiday time coming up on us soon. It's always a great time for uh, events like in basketball, wrestling, swimming, where you get a chance to go to some different venues, different parts of the state, and see different kinds of competition and encourage people to look into schedules and see about all that. It would be a I think you and I need to get in the car someday uh, between Christmas and New Year's and <laughs> right, just see how many right. different basketball games we can go to because there are holiday tournaments throughout this entire state uh, between that Christmas and New Year's time. And, and I think I mapped it out a couple of years ago. And, and during that short time, I think I figured out I could have watched 27 different basketball games uh, between the girls, boys and the girls over Christmas break, just going from town to town watching holiday tournaments. And uh, I'll probably do that someday. But, uh, um, but you know, it's just, it's just a time. It's just a great time of the year to be thankful and celebrate the holidays with your family, but also with your teammates. Uh, and what a better place to do it in the gym or on the in the in the swimming, auditorium or or wherever you get to hang out with uh, your coaches and your your teammates. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, Donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Back to live action here where the Senators uh, do lead by 129-28. Um, found our scoring problem from the first half. Um, so going to run down some stats. Lily Thompson with four. Emma Schmidt gets in the game but does not score. Jayla Bat with six. Meredith Deaton with 14. Uh, Layla Manship with three. And Ava Woods with two. On the other side, Liza Froge with eight. Jordan Brewer with nine. Uh, Laura Roeder with two. Marley Warren with seven, and Madison Keith with two. Um, the Senators do shoot eight of 13 from the free throw line for 61%. They are six of 20 from two point range for only 30%, and three of seven from three point range for 42%. So overall, they are nine of 27 for 33%. 
The Lady Cougars come out. They are 4 of 5 from the free throw line for 80%. 6 of 16 from two-point range for 37%. Uh, 4 of 7 from three-point range for 57%. So overall, they are 10 of 23 um, for 43%. The big difference in the game so far is Lady Senators do have 16 rebounds, where the Lady Cougars only have nine. Um, the Senators did have five turnovers in the first half to the Cougars seven. Um, the problem that I see with the numbers is we out-rebounded them by seven um, rebounds, but didn't get seven more shots. Right. You know, we ended up not being able to turn those rebounds into shots, um, which is the, the difference why this is only a one-point game. Usually if you had a team that got out-rebounded by seven, um, you'd have a, a – much bigger difference on the scoreboard, but that is not the case that we have tonight. Yeah, we we uh, you know we we came out strong there in that first quarter and kind of just kind of fell off there at the end of the first and the start of the second there, and then, and then we then we had to fight our way back into get into the game. And, you know, we we can't allow that to happen here in the second in the second half. You know, we gotta we gotta come out and be aggressive. We you know we led this thing. We you know we we was the leaders and we 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 set the momentum. Uh, you know, and that's why we got to come out here in the second half. We got to, we did a great job boxing out, and getting the rebounds. But as you said, you know, we we didn't get that second shot, or or you know, we we worked it around, ball around, threw it away, something like that. So uh, you know, thirty some percent field goal shooting is going to not win very many games. Yeah, going to go ahead and give another shout out to all of our um, live stream sponsors. We've got Sullivan Financial. The Washington County Community Foundation, Ryan Bat with United Producer, Gilstrap Motors, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, Michael Long um, with American Family Insurance, and the Washington County Substance Abuse or Substance Awareness Coalition. So right. thanks, Th to, thanks all to all of them. Thanks to all those guys for sure. Yeah. It's, without them guys, we couldn't do it here. Yeah. And I got a pretty nice sweatshirt from one of those guys. Hey, today. I tell you, you never know who you, who you know who you know, you know. <laughs> Ryan comes walking in with a stack of sweatshirts. Yeah. So. <laughs> Advertisement. Well, I'll be advertising for you tomorrow <laughs> at school. It's kind of that Miami <laughs> Hurricane color, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. I thought about you when I guess seen that. <laughs> so, Senators come out, running their offense. The Lady Cougars were unsuccessful on their first trip down the court on theirs. Lady Senators, no help either, so. Yeah, they're trying to force that ball in there. So, so far, the second half is even. Two, two possessions, two shots, two misses, two rebounds, one for each team. There's a three-point bucket for Brewer. Brewer is Brewer. feeling it. Yeah, for Brewer. <laughs> She's got 12. Pulls them out to a two-point lead. Senators back the other way. Jayla Bat at the three-point line. Comes around to Deaton. Giving Deaton some room. Then it comes back to bat. They're looking for Woods down low. She's yeah, got a mismatch down yeah, there. Yeah, they're taking they're taking their time, a little bit extra time, but it's just right whenever it happens, the other person kind of helps on over. And it's yeah. Jayla goes up and tries to get that shot. No good. Lily Thompson puts up a one-handed shot. That one no good. Cougars finally break half court. They do have a two-point lead here. Nice pump fake there. That's going to be Ava Wood. She's going to pick up another foul there. That's going to be her third. That's what I was going to get ready to start telling you, Craig, was, you know, we got to watch them fouls because <laughs> yeah, Jayla's, sure. got, Jayla's got two, Lily's got two, Ava's got two. There's a three-point bucket. That one's way long. Oh. Shelby Griffiths doesn't get the rebound, but then. I'm not sure what Shelby was doing there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm with you. I'm not quite sure what was going <laughs> I mean, on there. You know, it's kind of inside the three-point line. Grab the ball. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Senators finally get it moving a little bit around the, the perimeter. They're going to use Jayla as the post person down low. It's going to be travel. a travel turnover. That's the first of the half for the Lady Cougars, but also, um, or sorry, for the Lady Senators, but they only match the Lady Cougars so far. So Senators do trail by two here, 31-29. Nice take to the bucket, number 20, Marley Warren. Oh, <laughs> that's, it comes down on top of Schmidt. Yeah, that's, no where, that's where Schmidt has to go up strong there, knowing that she's going to get fouled. Right. So. Meredith takes it a hole, gets fouled by number 12. Yep, that's going to be Roeder's second. First of the quarter. Meredith Deaton going to go to the line, where she's a 58% free throw shooter. 14 points on the night. That one's short. Second one, that one also no good. Kicked ahead quickly into the corner. Oh, she traveled. I believe that was over the back. <laughs> Senators come back, set up their offense. It comes around to Schmidt at the top of the key. Nothing there. She reverses it to Lily Thompson. Out top to Shelby Griffiths. They're going to set the offense up again. Thompson driving to the baseline, nothing there. Going to get fouled underneath by 10. It's going to be Morgan Brewer, the 5'7 senior, her first. Lily Thompson goes back to the line. And she was 0 of 2 in the uh, first half. That one, no good. Mm. Free throw is a big part of our game tonight, Craig. Yep, 0 of 3 so far. Next one, that one's no good. Lady Cougars up four. Uh, make that seven. Yeah. That's Marley Warren, another three-pointer. sitting there and no one put their hand up. Yep, 36-29. Oh, Drives down the lane. Call a foul on Meredith because yeah. she was boxing out the player. <laughs> Senator Nation not happy yeah, with it. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not a lot more yelling coming from across the gym over there on that call. Yeah. Be not the afraid. Three. They will shoot that ball. That's a 10-point lead for them. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break. That's going to be a 30-second timeout. So we'll be back in 30 seconds. Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. Back to live action here at West Washington where there's all kinds of events going on tonight. We've got boys basketball, boys junior high basketball in the front gym. We've got girls varsity basketball in the second gym, and we've got girls junior high basketball in the back gym. Yeah, so big night. Lots of action. Also, wrestling was at Floyd Central tonight. So, How did that turn out? Uh, I don't know for sure. I saw some of the matches, but I don't know what the scores were. So, gotcha. But I do believe they're on their way home. So, <laughs> Wish them safe travels. Yeah. Senders looking to get their offense rolling. You know, we talked during the break, Craig. You know, we run our offense. We, the Senators run their offense. We got to maybe 
shoot a little faster. Meredith Deaton for that one, it's no good. We've got two senders on the floor. Jayla thought she had it, Shelby thought she had it, Meredith thought she had it, and Brewer thought she had it. <laughs> Comes in to Jayla. She gets her pocket picked. Lady Cougar's going to come back, drive down the lane. I believe There's she traveled, but we'll Up and it. good. Morgan Brewer, her first two-point bucket. 41-29. Senators just falling into a rut here. Senators need a bucket. They just can't seem to get anything going. Meredith goes down the lane. Going to be a block on Laura Roeder, her third. Trinity fans tore up over that yeah. call. There, there have been uh, a few less than spectacular calls tonight. Yeah, yeah, on both ends of the court. <laughs> Meredith going to go back to the line for her second attempt. Substitute Layla come in for Shelby there on the free throw. That one also knows good. can't get it. I believe she's out of bounds. Good job. She centered her ball. So, Senators do trail by 12 here. They haven't scored yet in this third quarter. That's where she's got to go up and into her right yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Lily is just too hard on those layups. We've seen that in the past few games, just when she goes up just too strong. Froze goes up. That one no good. Good job by Emma. Back and forth we go. Going to get a reach. Warren going to pick up her second. Fourth of the quarter. Back going to take it out underneath. Senator's going to go. Seems like there's a lot more fouls than what's been called. Yeah. Darren Keith wanted that one off of Jayla standing out of bounds. Oh, no foul, no contact, I guess. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Gets her on the line. Going to be a turnover for the Senators. You know, that's something we got to do. Lily missed it out. She can't, there's no reason to drive on. Why would you go under the basket? Yeah. You know, like, let's bring it back out and set some stuff up. You know, Senators going to go into a press now. This is where we, we usually come back into it. Froge pump fakes the three. Nothing there. Brewer for three. Bang. Bang. Meredith There's answers a, right back. Yeah, Meredith matches that one right back. Gives her 17. Senators playing scrappy defense here. Going to be a turnover for the. Yeah. Going to be a bench warning on the Lady Cougars. I don't know exactly what went on well, there. I have no idea. He never, coach never really did say anything to the bench, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Not sure on that one. Senators come back out, set up their offense. Meredith looks at a three, but doesn't pull the trigger. Thompson for three, bang. Good job, Good job really. Gives her seven, cuts into that lead. 103 left to go here in the third. That one too hard. Meredith thinks about throwing it, but doesn't. Good decision there by her. 
loses it off to Jalen. Jalen brings it to the top. Out to Lily over to Emma. They're going to work it around, try to get some offense going here. Lady Senators do trail by nine. Down the lane goes Jayla. Nice bucket for her. Yeah, that's a good move. She gets that eighth point that I tried to give her in the first half. So. Oh, Brewer's not even looking. Yep. It's off her back. The center ball. Turnover number five for the Cougars. 25.6 left to go here. That one comes into Meredith. Meredith brings it across the half court. It was going to be a handoff and then going to be a block on number 11, Jordan Brewer. It'd be her first, was it? Second. 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 Well, on my unofficial official <laughs> yeah. live stream stats. Yeah, <laughs> you're official because that's what the court board says. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So, Mayor Thieken goes back to the line, 58% on the year. We do have the five fouls in effect right now. Knocks that first one down. That's the first free throw make for the Lady Senators of this half. They are one of seven. Second one. Flies it. Nothing but net. Senators make this a five-point game. 14 seconds to go. Ooh, I believe she traveled. I believe she traveled. Going to be a oh. foul. Jayla going to pick that one up. Going to be her third. That's an okay foul to give up. Still not into um, bonus territory. Three-pointer, no good. Meredith Deaton with the rebound. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that's going to end the third quarter where it's 44-39. Lady Senators do trail by five. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more action here in just a moment. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long – can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. here at West Washington, where the Lady Senators do trail by five. <clears throat> um, you know, interesting, the first quarter, the Lady Senators scored 16. Um, then in the second, it was a long time before they got going and got their 13 uh, points there. But then in the third quarter, they were only able to manage 10. So, um, you know, they've got to get, get going here quicker in the fourth quarter if they want to make up this five-point deficit. Yeah, we're going to have to hit the ground running here. Senators moving the ball, looking for that open person. Ava Woods back in the game for the Senators. Yeah, she's got three, but we need her to be strong, get some rebounds, and pick up some fouls. We need her to get down there on Brewer and get Brewer in foul trouble. Off to Deaton for three. Bang. Gives her 22. Lead cut to two. And right there, she traveled. Yeah, good call. I thought the ref yeah. underneath was going to call that foul on Ava. Nope, he was the one yeah. calling travel. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to be the one out, yeah. out wide. Yeah. So. Senators with a chance to tie or take the lead here. Kick it around to Deaton underneath the bat. She's blocked, but she can turn and put that one up. It's good. Oh, 
Froze wow. for three. They are on three-point fire. What's their percentage, Craig? You got it pulled up there? Uh, 33% in the second half. They were 37% in the first half. So. Wow. They've shot a lot of them. Yeah. Thompson handles it out top. Off to Deaton. He's swinging around to bat. Off to Schmidt. There it is. Mismatch. Ooh. There we go. Oh, she pushed her. And one. Nice job there by Meredith to get that bucket. Gives her 24. She's going to go to the line. Pick up. That's a Rotor's fourth. Yep. She's played a good game. She's been matched up with Meredith most of the game. So, Deaton a couple of dribbles. Let's that one fly. It's good. Gives her 25. She's got big froze stop on the other side. So need a big stop. Tie game here, 47-47. Six minutes to go Ooh. in the game. They're going to talk about it. I don't know who, they, who they're who they calling it on. Sure, it looked like he looked at Meredith. Yep. Yep. Meredith going to pick up her third. Froge goes to the line where she's a 57% free throw shooter on the year. First one is long. That's their first attempt. Senators attempted nine free throws in the first quarter, or in the sorry, in the third quarter, and only hit three of them. So Froge. Second one up, it's no good. Good, we didn't box out. Jayla's wanting to run, she's gonna go coast to coast. Steps through, misses that one, it's just too rough. So, Cougar ball, 47-47, 5.46 left to go here. That one inbounded. We've got one heating up here, 47-47, 5.40 to go. Yeah, if you're on the road, pull over because it's going to be a barn burner yep. at the end. Got kind of a who's who of Washington County in the gym, too. we got some Eastern boys basketball players. We've got some Salem kids setting up on the other side. Yeah, I think the, one of the teams played Salem tonight. Yeah. I think our junior high boys did. Yeah, so that's right. Nice feed down low to Meredith. Meredith puts that one up hey, and knocks shot. it in. Look at that. Bread and butter. First lead for the Senators in a while. And we talked about the size advantage that the Senators has, and we, we have to use that. High off the <laughs> glass for Jordan Brewer. Gives her 17. I really thought that one was going over the backboard. <laughs> You know, we talked we need to get four players in double digits. We've got two at the moment. That one shot no good, going to hit the bottom of the backboard. I believe Jayla's going to pick up her fourth. That's her fourth. Team's second. So Adele Brown comes into the game along with Shelby Griffiths. Something we didn't mention earlier is Macy Lowry is not here tonight. I believe she is sick. So Yeah, I was wondering where she was at tonight. I think that could be a double dribble. That one kicked all the way around. Froge for three. That one's short. Shelby with the rebound. Kicks it off to Deaton. Deaton then drives back down the lane. Off to Brown Step for three. Back three. Her first bucket of the night. That's a good one. Let's get Senators back and up get three. Some defense. It's all right. Get the rebound. Good girls. Meredith Deaton on that rebound. A good box out. Meredith's going to bring it up the court. Senators up three. Going to set up some offense. Try to run some time here. They hand it off to Thompson. Around to Brown. Off to Griffiths. Nothing underneath. They send two cutters through. And they come back up top, going to set it up again. You know, I'd really like to, again. like to see Ava get in on this, this action here. I, they they kind of use her on a high post. Going to be a turnover. Senators unable just to hand the ball off. Yeah, no one around. 
So going to be a full timeout. We're going to take another commercial break here. We'll be back for more Lady Senator action in just a moment. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. Back to live action here at West Washington where the Senators do lead by three. Only 3.40 left to go here in this one. Lady Senators picked up their first lead here about two minutes ago. Um, you know, just unable to get kind of things going. Hopefully it stays going. The, the momentum stays with the Senators here through the rest of this three yeah, minutes we, and 40 seconds. We got to keep in there. We got to keep out Meredith out of foul trouble. She's got three. Jayla's got four. Uh, they're going to put Jayla back in the game. Three minutes to go. She's getting the uh, final words from Coach Messamore. Yeah. Do not touch Do nobody. Do not pick up a foul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she got the final word actually from her mother sitting down yeah. there. I'm I sure. bet that was a good one. <laughs> Adele Brown comes off. They inbound it to Froge. Lily's getting being real aggressive out there. That's what we need. When Lily's aggressive, things happen. Froge for three. Short. Bat with the rebound. Shelby's told to slow it up. No need to rush this one. Yeah, we got the lead, girls. We hand it off. Back around the three-point line. They look for a cutter. And then oh. we turn it over. Jayla threw that one. I think we forgot what a bounce pass is. Yeah. I noticed that multiple times. Three-pointer, that one no good. Rebounded by Ava Woods. Deaton brings it across half court. Underneath the Griffiths. Oh, she tripped her. I'm not exactly sure how you can end up on the floor and not get a foul there at all. Yeah. But Senator's going to lose possession of the ball, so it's going to go to the Lady Cougars. Senator's going to set up in a 1-2-2 two, two press here. And she's on the on line. On the line, going to be go. a turnover for the Lady Cougars. Good hustle by Meredith Deaton, getting her over to the line, getting her to step on it. So that one comes into Shelby in the backcourt. 2.30 left to go here. Senators send two cutters through, nothing going. Ava Woods flashes to the middle. You know, I, th I think on that play there, we saw that we see this play a lot, and Ava's up top. Her person sags down, but usually whoever's guarding Jay, like number 20, they can't guard her. So I don't understand why we are not, you know, moving Ava out a little bit, and then that way we can get it down low. Meredith, or sorry, Jayla with her two-point bucket makes the lead five. Oh, that was a good play. Ava stood firm there. She stood strong. Yeah, that was good by Ava Woods. Meredith comes off with the rebound. We're going to get a timeout here. Coach Missamore wants a timeout. 1.51 to go here in the game. We're going to stay with you. Um, you know, the Senators – Finally kind of get some, some offensive flow going yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we're getting something in there. We're looking. We're just kind of slowing down, you know, and, and that's what we need to do. You know, we have the lead. We don't have to score. Right. <laughs> you know, let's, let's work some clock, make them foul us. Uh, you know, the foul's two to one, so there's going to be a long time before we shoot free throws. Right. But, you know, like I say, let, let them foul us. Uh, you know, we're, 
We want to burn as much clock as possible. And the way they shoot those three-pointers, yeah. we don't want to be giving them a chance to shoot. Yeah, you're exactly right. That's one of those, you know, we were. I was talking to somebody earlier today where the game has changed with this five-foul rule. Yeah. Um, you know, you have to start super early to get the fouls going in your favor yeah. in this fourth quarter if you're trying to make it a free-throw game. I mean, they've got a – it's a minute 51 to go, and they still have three fouls to give. Yeah, yeah. And I'm you look at the side of my sheet, I always keep tally marks of fouls, and it looks like I'm marked up – crazy here when we've got two to one here on the fouls you know and each, every player on every team's got some fouls that's been in the game I think that one inbounded in the backcourt to Shelby Shelby gets it off to Jayla Jayla's strong with that ball little Shelby's going to pick up an offensive foul not sure how going to be a push her second <laughs> Shelby does a nice job of cutting her off yeah. to the spot. The one thing I do know is you can't throw your arm up at the defender. Correct. So that might be a foul that way too. So now the question is, who does this one go on? I think Lily Thompson. Yep, going to be her Lily. first, or sorry, third. her third. Yeah, we've got four players in semi-foul trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Marley Warren goes to the line where she's a 67% free throw shooter. That first one up and good. She's got 13 on the night, gets her season average. Second one, that one's good. Cuts the lead to three. They inbound the ball. Jayla back, going to bring it up across half court. Gets it off to Meredith. Over to Shelby. Shelby back to Meredith. Yeah, girls, let's just dribble that ball. We don't have to do anything. They overplayed her. Yep, there's going to be a foul on 20. Marley Warren going to be her third. Still only the second foul. So they still have quite a bit of fouls to give here. 58.7 to go. Three-point game, Lady Senators. Yeah, and that's just not a good pass Jayla made to try to make the Shelby. So Senator's going to turn it over, but the Cougar's going to turn it right back over. Senator's now going to inbound the ball in the backcourt. Senator goes stack. Better throw it in. Thompson gets it across half court, and then Fro's going to pick up the foul there. Going to be her second. Still. <laughs> Fro's is for, for Trinity's. Played pretty much the whole game. I don't know if yeah, she's ever been out. Yeah, I don't think out. she's and, come out. And, and she's an aggressive player, has lots of, you know, I don't know how many points she has. She's got quite a few. But, uh, 14. But, I mean, like, that girl to only have two fouls this late in the game is just unbelievable. Not a good pass. You know, 20? Nope. <laughs> Going to be her fourth. Yeah, she wasn't even around the play, but. There we go. 49.6 left to go here in the game. She really needs a break. She's going to tie her shoe. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it if takes. If you need one, that's one. Whatever it takes. And Shelby gave up on that. Up. We just give up four points yeah. in a matter of four seconds, four seconds. to now trail by one. Going to be a full timeout. We're going to stay here. That was uh, – <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to say to that yep. because we inbound the ball and Warren just takes it away. Brewer hits her bucket. It's 55-54 Senators. We're up three. Now we're down one. Yeah, yeah. Just, just kind of in shock. And I don't the, know. I don't the know. The worst part about it is, is we was at half court with the ball, and no one 
with us whenever she called timeout. Yeah. <laughs> we was going to make two. Yeah. I, um, I, I, <laughs> I'm I'm at a shock on that one. Yeah, so. I just it's one of those things. You know, we talked about this you know, being a young team and the turnovers. You know, we got we got to get out here and use our heads. When we're up, we do not have to score. Smart so, passes, move the ball. So that would be wonderful. That's not the case right now. We're down one, 55-54, 38.6 left to go. Now, if Trinity fouls, we do go to the free throw line. Yep. The big thing is getting the ball inbounds. Yeah. Meredith gets it across half court. Yeah, Meredith, keep the ball, hold the ball. We don't have to move it. We don't have to score. We don't have to do nothing yet. <laughs> Going to be a foul on Brewer, her third. Lily Thompson going to go to the line. This has got everything uh, written on it that looks a whole lot like overtime. <laughs> Lily Thompson steps up to the line. Her first one, nothing but net. So that ties it now, 55-55, 40 or 24 seconds left to go. Lily, a couple of dribbles. That one up, no good. So they're going to take a full timeout. We're going to take a timeout also here from United Producers. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Don't go away. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to action here at West Washington on the Ron Smith court where the Senators are tied, 55-55, 23.4 seconds to go. Lady Cougars have to go the length of the court. Ryan, I know you said you were in shock. You didn't know what to say. Well, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm going to tell you, we got to guard 11. Yeah. Uh, her and her and she's she's been the threat. Uh, five's not afraid to pull up and shoot one either. So. I don't, we don't need to foul. We need to play defense. Yeah, here's the thing with the Senators also. If they foul, it's free throws. Yeah. Ten seconds. I say we play it to the last second. 2-1. There it is by Brewer. Overtime. We're going to go to overtime here where the Senators get an extra quarter to play. This is going to be overtime. Um, first no, uh, is it the first overtime? I believe it's the first overtime we've yeah, had. Yeah, it is. If you look at our press release, yeah. no overtimes listed. So first overtime of the year for the Senators. Yeah. Um, Going to be an extra four minutes of play here. Coaches do get an extra timeout, but the players do not get an extra foul. So, um, you know, we've got some, some foul trouble. Jayla has four. Um, then Meredith has three, and Ava Woods has three. Lily, Lily Thompson has three. also has three. So those are the foul trouble for the Senators. On the other side, Laura Roeder has four, and Marley Warren has four for the Lady Cougars, where Jordan Brewer has three. So, um, you know, been been kind of a foul-heavy game, and it may come down to who can knock down the free throws in this overtime session. Mm -hmm. In the uh, second or in the the fourth, sorry, let me get it, let me reset. Yeah. In the second half, the Senators are four of 11 from the free throw line. The Cougars are two of four. And if we remember, this has all been done without Madison Keith, the junior for the Lady yeah, Cougars, yeah. who is their leading scorer. 
So An update on her. She is on the bench. She's icing her knee with crutches, has crutches and everything right now. Uh, hope she gets well for the yeah. Trinity uh, basketball team on that. We're going to get Jayla to tip off for us against, uh, who is that, Craig? Uh, Froge. Froge, yeah. yeah. I didn't see what didn't. went on there, but it went out of bounds, yeah. and the Cougars are going to get it. I think it went off in the foot. You know, we're four minutes into this overtime. Uh, you know, let's play some defense. Yeah. So, Cougars set up in their offense. We say play some defense, and the first thing we do is go and foul. Yeah. Lily Thompson going to pick up her fourth. <laughs> it's not exactly the defense that we're looking for. Number 20, Marley Warren, going to go to the line, 67% yeah. on the year. I did wonder how the fouls was going to work in the overtime. I guess I'm learning that every foul from now on out is going to be a free throw. Yep. Warren knocks that one down. Two dribbles. So far, they're perfect from the free throw line in the overtime session. Yeah. Schmidt able to get it over half court. Hands it off to Thompson. Thompson around to bat. Bat goes to Deaton. Going to stay with the Senators. Nice job over there by Jordan Brewer to swat that one out of bounds. Yeah, Jer Jordan Brewer has been the, been the cause of our chaos here tonight. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say it. That is a terrible call. That is call. the worst call I've seen all night. That is a terrible call. I, I, that is that is horrible. <laughs> That's going to be Ava Woods' fourth. Ava's going to pick up a foul, and if you're home watching that, wow. Yeah. There's a three-point bucket. No good. Out ahead to Jayla. Jayla goes up. <laughs> no contact. Wow. Jayla going to take the ball out underneath. Senators do trail by two. I think they call a bench they warning, call a bench on, warning senators on Senators and no senators. one knows what happened. <laughs> wow. Good. Deaton gets that one, pulls it down, bang. Good shot. Tie game, 57-57. I'm running out of scratch paper for where Meredith's scoring. <laughs> I've got her for 29. Ooh. Going to be a 30-second timeout by Trinity. Did that one to save the possession. So we're going to stay with you here. Lady Senators in a, in a dog fight here, 57-57. Two minutes, 46 seconds left to go here in this one. Meredith Deaton with 29 points tonight. I mean, that's a yeah. – <laughs> Season high for her, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's a career high for her. Yeah, that's good. So, um, ready to come in clutch there. I know she hit three, four three pointers. What I got her down for. So, well, the the Senators. You know, we said they need to have four people in double digits. Right now, they've got Meredith and Jayla both in double digits. Lily Thompson needs two more to get the uh, to get into the double digit group. So. Cougar's going to go with a stack here. Froge with Deaton on her. Senator's got to play defense. Oh, and it's off her foot. She kicked it. Back to Froge. Straight up. Good job. 
Nice job there by the centers not to foul. And we talked about Ava. Ava got there, got stead straight up, and made a big blocking yep. for the Senators. There we go. Oh! They're going to get Ava Woods for this foul. She's going to foul out for us. And Unbelievable. Yeah. Shelby Griffith's going to come in and take Woods' spot. Ava did a great job tonight. Yeah. We're going to compliment her before we get too far in the broadcast. She did a great job of stopping that ball multiple times. Senator's still in a tie game here. Two minutes left to go in the overtime session. Wow. Now Jayla's going to be gone. Now Jayla's going to foul out. We are sure getting it here on this end. Yeah. Definitely no home court advantage tonight. So, Marley Warren going to go to the line where she's got 18 tonight. 157 to go. That one no good. I will say, Craig, you know, it's hard. You know, my, our good broadcasting buddy Bubba. Yeah. I told him, I said, it's hard to be a parent and be on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Marley Warren knocks that one down, gives her 19. Comes into Meredith. Meredith up the sideline. Ahead to Schmidt. Schmidt leaves it off to Griffiths. Griffiths goes up and gets that bucket. Shelby's first two points of the night. Correct. 59-58, Lady Senators up. Senators back on the defensive side. 138 left to go here in the game. Oh, yeah, she stepped on the line. Going to be Senator Ball. I was going to say, there goes Lily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that would be her fifth. Yeah. Going to be a full timeout. We're going to stick with you right here. So available to the Senators, um, they have <laughs> – <laughs> So Lady Senators play shorthanded for the, the JV game because of Macy Lowry not being here. Yep. So they don't have a whole lot of girls with a whole lot of quarters left. And then two of their varsity girls have already fouled out. So Jayla Bat has fouled out with 12. Um, Ava Woods fouls out with only two points, but a, a bunch of rebounds for her. So right now for the Senators, you've got Shelby Griffiths, Elena Schmidt, Emma Schmidt, Lily Thompson, and Meredith Deaton. So we've said we've got a, a, a size advantage, but with this lineup, we probably don't have a size advantage. Yeah, and I tell you, we, we have to stop, uh, you know, uh, Brewer when she goes in. But number 11, Brewer, she's, she's going to drive, uh, and she knows she can drive. So, you know, we did great when Ava was in there. She was able to be a big body to stop her. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we can't get Lily too far close down in there. Usually that's when she drives is when Lily's low. So, uh you know, we want to, want to be careful on that. Yeah, you're you're exactly right. The one thing we haven't seen in this quarter is any substitutions. Yeah. <laughs> for, for the Trinity Trinity Cougars. Yeah, Trinity hasn't subbed anyone. Know, the Senators have number, been forced to sub. So. Number 12 there, Roder, Roder, she's got four fouls. It seems like we could get her in a little foul trouble and get a, maybe a non-veteran player on the court. Yeah. So Meredith Deaton going to inbound the ball. I'm sure as soon as she gets the ball, they're going to give it back to her. Yeah, I'm not sure about Meredith inbounding that ball. It goes ahead to Griffiths. Griffiths going to go up and get that one blocked. That's okay. That's going to be Senator Ball. Yeah. We advance the ball into the front court. Now we can right. run our baseline out-of-bounds plays, yeah. trying to get some offense going. Out to Shelby at the three-point line in the corner. She's going to bring it back around the top. Goes off to Schmidt. 
Going to be a foul there on Brewer. That's going to be her fourth. Ooh, that would be, be a big advantage there. Yeah. Maybe our coaching staff has noticed. Oh, that's her fifth. They're calling her for five, Greg. I have her for four. Either way, Elena Schmidt's going to go to the line um, where she averages 1.2 points a game, seven-tenths of a rebound a game. Call her out on five yeah, fouls. So she's going to check out with five. So Zoe Delaney checks in, the freshman. Elena Schmidt going to go to the line. First one up and good. Her first bucket. Next one is also good. Spreads it out to a three-point lead. It's a three-point bucket, no good. Rebounded, they're gonna get Shelby for a foul underneath. Yeah, we gotta box out. I mean, now's the time. You're gonna box out ever. <laughs> They're going to foul yeah. out Lily Thompson. <laughs> she, she fouls Lily out. <laughs> and the foul's on Shelby. So Laney Cameron going to check in. The 5'3 sophomore. You remember when it was five minutes to go in the fourth quarter and I said you might want to pull over and watch yeah, the game? Yeah, <laughs> well, you've been sitting there for 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. That one up oh. and no good. That was a good shot. Yep. That is Laura Roeder, the 63% free throw shooter on the year. Yeah. We're going to need a good box out here on this possession. The Senators trying to figure out what they're going to do here with their uh, – defensive set because it's going to come back to them on the – it's going to come back to the Cougars on the offensive side. So, Senator's going to have to play defense here. And, you know, it's it, – there are some mismatches for the Cougars with the personnel that the Senators have in. Yeah. I, I You know, watching the – I really would like to see maybe Layla get in there sometime yeah. to get a big in the, in the center because, you know, you took out – you took out Jayla. Uh, you took out Ava. <laughs> I think and the problem is she doesn't have any quarters left. She played four in the oh, JV, and then she played one she's in varsity. So she's here. played her I quarter. Got she you. can't I got get you. in. That's, yeah. I think that's the reason why they don't go to her. I understand. So. Yeah. It'll make a difference. <clears throat> yeah. The quarter rule. Five quarters a night, isn't it? Yep, five quarters a night. And I believe she yep. played four JV, and then she got into the varsity in the third quarter maybe. Uh -huh. So she's she's out of quarters. Senators do lead by three here, 104. We may have to recruit some girls to come in and play, <laughs> <laughs> or at least dress and sit on the bench. Yeah. So, Lady Senators out of timeouts. There are no timeouts for them to take now. Laura Roeder going to go back to the line for her second free throw. That one hits the back of the iron, tips around, no good. Froge goes up and knocks that one in. So we talked about getting that box out. It don't matter how big you are, you got to box out. Froge with the steal. And then we're going to get a timeout for the Lady Cougars. So we're going to go ahead, take a, take a break, step away. We'll be back in just a moment. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning. 
offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Back to live action here on Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do lead um, by one, but it is the um, Lady Cougars ball at the moment on a sidelines out of bounds. So Lady Senators gonna have to play some defense here and be strong with the ball, making sure that they um, you know get Get a good defensive set here. Meredith Deaton, normally the guard, is playing the big position here yeah. for the Senators. They do get it in. Froze dribbles into the lane. Runner, that one no good. Deaton with the rebound. Yeah. Zoe Delaney going to pick up that one. Need those big free throws in clutch right now. Yep. So Meredith Deaton going to go to the line 58% on the year. Looking to stretch this lead out a little more. Two dribbles, first one, no good. Senators 6 of 14 in the second half. They've missed eight free throws. Steps up to the line for the second one. It's good. Makes it a two-point lead for the Senators. 62-60. 40 seconds to go. Froge with the ball. She's guarded by Deaton. Oh, she traveled. Delaney drives down the lane. Oh, that's going to be a white ball. Yep. Senators going to get the ball on the far sideline. 25 seconds to go. Senators up two. They're going to get Meredith Deaton on the floor so they can inbound the ball to her. Oh, it's a tripping foul. Yep. That'll be five. That's going to be five on Roeder. They might be in the same situation that we're in. So in comes number 22, Emerson Warren. But I will tell you, Craig, the game has been pretty matched all the way through. <laughs> we could so play this thing 9 to 10, and it would probably go 5 and 5. Yep. Deaton steps up and misses that one. <laughs> 7 of 16. She's got 30-some points tonight. 30. Uh, exactly 30. 30. Senators do lead by two, 25.2 to go. Deaton, couple of dribbles. What's that one fly? It's wow. good. Gives her 31. Senators up three. It's a step back three, bang. Yeah. It was contested. Oh. And we're going into the second overtime. Yeah. Who hit that three? Uh, 20. 20. Warren. Yep, so that gives her 22 on the night. What's the scores for them? How, they got uh, so double. They got double digit players. Liza yeah. Froge has 16. Morgan Brewer has two. Jordan Brewer has 19. Uh, Roeder has two. Marley Warren has 22, and Madison Keith has two. Yeah. So there you go. That they got three people in double digits. Yeah. We're still hanging on to. Yeah, we've two. got we've got two <laughs> in double digits. And one's fouled out. But our next one can't get um, any more points. Any more points. So. Yeah. Lady Senator. 
Lady Senators going to go with the lineup of Laney Cameron, Meredith Deaton, Elena Schmidt, Emma Schmidt, and Shelby Griffiths. Yeah. Trinity coaches. There's two coaches at the scorer's table right now trying to figure out their book and see yeah, what's right Yeah, trying to figure out who wrong. has quarters and, and who doesn't. The, the problem is, is whatever the book is under the home team <laughs> yep. home, is correct. Home team book is what goes. Yeah. I believe each team will get one timeout in this overtime. So how does the quarters work here, Craig? So if you played in the fourth, this is considered still the fourth quarter. Okay. So you can you can you know still if you, play. Yeah. Wonder how many senators we have left on the bench. Uh, I Evo don't. O'Toole, I guess. Yeah, Evo Tool is the only one who's not been get, in the game at all. Yeah. But she only has one quarter, so she right. could get in this quarter, and that would be it. Deaton. Called a violation on three. Huh. I'm going to need to explain that one. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. How can you get And a how you can call that from across the court. Huh. Interesting. Yep. So. Reset, 63 all. We should drug her foot just a little bit. Froge with the ball picked up by Deaton. Travel. That'll be a travel turnover on the Lady Cougars. Yeah, we want we want Meredith. Yeah, inbound Meredith the has ball. to be on the floor. Yeah, she can't be yeah. inbounding the ball. We are at a huge size advantage now that we talked about how much of advantage we had before the game started. Yeah, <laughs> we we no longer have that size advantage. Yeah. Meredith Deaton with the ball out on the W. And I'm not so sure if I'm Meredith. I just stand there with the ball. Yeah. They're in the zone. Schmidt down the lane. Yeah. Unable to control it. That one's going to go out of bounds. Turnover for the Lady Senators. That's where I like to see the Senator coaching staff to step up and say, listen, we do not have to dribble the ball. We don't yeah. have to do anything. Let's the ball doesn't need to touch yeah. the floor. They're not pressuring us. Froge with the ball. She's going to bring it up. Deaton picks her up. Froge is gonna, she's going to want to score. She hasn't, she hasn't been to the basket. That's a three-pointer. That one no good. Jump ball going to go to the Lady Senators after the uh, lane violation on the jump. I don't. I don't know what you call that. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask somebody about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't I don't know that one. That one's going to be a, a conversation. No tomorrow. one really said anything, so I guess it's uh, we must be the only two in the building that don't know what it is. Yeah. Probably just need to handle that ball, girls. Deaton looks there, at a she three. She thought about it. So they're just going to come back and set it up again. Yeah. Zoe on she's Dean short. for three. That one's short. Goes into the corner where um, Emma Schmidt just came running from. So Cougars get the ball across half court. Kind of a flop. Down the lane goes Marley Warren with her two-point bucket. They're going to face guard Meredith, so she's going to have a hard time getting the ball. Yeah. You know, I'd like to see Meredith post her up. Yeah. Nice move there, but unable to knock That's it down. Ball. And Schmidt going to be a jump ball.
So this one gonna come in. Lady Senators trail by two, 157. Schmidt does a nice job of picking up there. Gonna stay with the Lady Cougars. You know, like here's what we talked about the other day, you know, Elena comes in fresh at zero fouls. You know, I'd, I'd be pressuring the ball as hard as I possibly could right now. Yeah. Because we're down. Cougars work their offense around. And the Cougars may be in the same situation that the Senators are. A lot of these girls don't, don't see the court together, so. Yeah. Shelby going to pick up that one. It's her third. So to the line is 20. Marley Warren. That one up and good. Spreads that lead out to three. Make that four. Schmidt gets it across half court. Off to Shelby Griffiths for three. That one no good. That's over the back. Think Elena Schmidt's going to catch that foul. Yep, Elena Schmidt catches that one. Her first. Her first, Emerson Warren goes to the line. She's a 50% free throw shooter on the year. 110 left to go here in this overtime session. That one up and good. Lady Senator's going to take a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. We're going to step aside, take another commercial break, and we'll be back in just a moment. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Back to action here at West Washington, where the Lady Senators do trail by five now. 68-63. One ten left to go here in the second overtime. Oh, the Senator coaching staff's coming up here trying to catch quarters, I think, see who's got what. Yeah, see who has quarters available. So, Lady Senator's going to have to work some magic in the last 70 seconds here in order to get to pull this one out. Like I said, they do trail by five. <laughs> Senator coaching staff asking for Darren Russell, athletic director, to come over, so I don't know exactly what's. Yeah, I think they had a confusion here with the rest, and they were not quite sure on how this is going to play out. Yeah. So We might need to get the book out. <laughs> Misses that one. Deaton with the rebound. Good job Goes there. Up and gets that one. Cuts the lead to three. And we get a steal. Meredith for Deaton three. For three. Tie it. She got it. Meredith it up Deaton out of nowhere. <laughs> Meredith 36 points on the night. Yeah. Five quick baskets. 68 to 68. We get a foul on Elena Schmidt. Looks like Elena Schmidt picks up her second personal. Missed, missed that the one. First free throw. 
Center the nation on their feet over across in the pep session. That one up and good. They get Trinity Lutheran with a timeout here. It's going to be a full timeout. So, Lady Cougars do lead by one. 69-68. 49.6 left to go. I think there's some confusion on quarters and who can play and who cannot play. And Yeah, I think Adele can play. She'd come in and hit that three in the fourth quarter, didn't she? I, I don't have I, them down I, by quarter, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think she did. She'd come in the fourth quarter, hits the three, uh, just actually checks in the game. They throw a pass right to her, and yeah. she shot a three and hit it. I think she gets to come in the game. So she, if she played in the fourth, she gets to. If she yeah. played in any other quarter, she does not. So, ladies, like I said, Lady Senators do trail by one, 49.6 left to go. It's going to be Lady Senator ball. They're going to have to go the full length of the court. This is uh, a Lady Senator instant classic, I guess you would call it. So we do check in Adele Brown. She's in on the court. Elena Schmidt going to take it out underneath the Trinity bucket. Comes into Deaton. I can see Meredith just drive right on down in there. Kicks There's it out good to Schmidt. Shot, good shot. Yo. Oh, and a foul. That's going to be a white ball. Yeah. <laughs> Warren thought she had it, and she she comes down and thinks Shelby fouled her, but she didn't. Going to go out of bounds, be Senator basketball. 35 seconds to go here. We're going to take another timeout, a full timeout here, so we're going to step aside for our last timeout of the night. We'll be back with Hopefully. Lady Senator action <laughs> here in just a moment. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. Back to action here on or in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do trail by one in double overtime. 35.5 seconds left to go here in this overtime session. Senators fighting for quarters. Yeah. They did get Adele Brown into the game. Nobody rolled. But Shelby up top. Oh, and she smacks her. Adele picks it back up, gets it to Meredith. We need to make something happen here, Meredith. Meredith says, give me the ball. I'm going to the bucket. So I think I think we need to clear out. She's short. And that's a jump ball. Possession to the Senators. Good way. Elena Schmidt down there trying to get that ball. And Meredith comes on the backside of it. So we're going to set it up again. 18.5 left to go. Kick ball. Not sure here. I believe I would have Adele taking it out, but it's my call again. Yeah. It comes out to Elena Schmidt. Senators having trouble getting the ball into anybody. Anybody. It's gonna go with a stack on this side. Let's do a basic stack formation, pick and roll, and see what happens. Comes out to Adele Brown. Oh. 
believe Adele may have took a couple steps, but that will make up for the other plays. And Amaris wide open, going down. Oh, and she gets fouled. She's going to go to the line for two. Meredith, 58% on the year. She's got 36 points tonight. First one. It's good. Ties it. 7.9 seconds left in the ball game. No timeouts left for anybody. Yeah. Next one up. It's, it's off. It's no good. We definitely do not need a foul. Nope, she traveled. traveled. She traveled. She traveled. She traveled. So it's tie game again. Going into the third overtime. I was wondering why the whistle was going off before the horn. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah, so we're going to reset again. 69-69. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, send Amity over there and see if on the board it says who has the most points in a game. So we're reset here. 69-69. I know the scoreboard says 59. It isn't. It's 69 all. Um, we're going to check and see what the most points in a game is. I I believe Meredith's getting close. I think it's 40. Yeah, I, I think it's 42, but I'm not. I thought that was Misty Jones. No, I think Tory Packwood. Tory Packwood, yeah. Most points by player in a game. Yeah, but I don't think it's up there. Yeah, it's not listed. Yeah. We got too yeah. many people over there looking. We got a herd of guys over there checking it out. Everybody's looking. Yeah. It's not on there. Not on there. I, 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 for some reason, I think it's 42, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so. 69-69. We're going to start back over. We're going to play again. Minutes. And again, the quarter is, if you played in the fourth quarter, you get to play this one yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> so Adele Brown's back out there again. You know, if we, if we go into – Four or five. If we go into fifth overtime, does that mean that everybody can check back in that has five uh, fouls? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think that's the way we should do it. Yeah. Trinity Lutheran setting on no one. And well, actually, number 20, Marley Warren with four fouls, and she's the one that's probably leading the scores. <laughs> Got a Trinity fan coming over to the scores bench trying to cause some trouble over oh, there, yeah. and the refs having to remove him. So 69 all. Lady Cougar's going to get that one. And Shelby with the and steal. And Shelby going to take it away. Oh, going to give it right back. back. Coach Darren Keith telling him to get back out there. Get the <laughs> ball up top. Froge has it. She's guarded by Meredith Deaton. There's a deep three. That one no good. It's a good rebound on Meredith. Sealed, pivoted around, just like it's a textbook right there. <laughs> Schmidt around, in the lane, Gets up and good. Fouled and they don't call it. Her first <laughs> bucket of the night. That's 71-69. Seventy-one, sixty-nine. Meredith she dropped her hand. Yep, Meredith gonna pick up her fourth uh, foul. Fourth foul. No, Meredith played all three overtimes without a foul. They call it on a Dale Brown. <laughs> oh man, Craig, I'm gonna say it. This is probably one of the most embarrassing officiating crews right here on this. This is the first one. We have not called the right numbers multiple times tonight.
Roche hits that one. Makes it 71-70. This has been just a, a funky night all around. Yeah, Meredith knocks another one down. Give her some more points. I'm running out of scratch paper. She's got a steal. Meredith goes up high. Bank misses it. We got to get back. There's a bucket yeah. at the other end by Warren. Warren's going to knock that down. That Warren, she's... She's a shooter. Gives her 28. She hipped it, yep. Gonna Emma, be a turnover. Emma does that every now and then. It's usually won a game. That's her first one. Well, let's kinda hope she doesn't have another one. Yeah, she kind of catches it on that hip. 73-72. Lady Senators up one. Yeah, good job. The hot roll. Hot roll and she nails it for it. two. Hot roll for two. Gives her five on the night. Senators up three. Adel Brown with the steal there. Meredith playing great defense down the court. We got Meredith to move your feet. Don't get caught in foul trouble on this one. Froze for three. Bang. Hails it. Wow. That ties it up again. Meredith is a new all-time leading scorer for yeah, the Senators. It was 38. Now Meredith has 39. So that's the that's the leading. Uh, she has the most points in a game by the girls basketball um, ever before. It, I was right. It was, it was Tory, Tory Packwood. Packwood. We thought 42. 38. I thought yep. it was 42, but it's 38. Yeah. So Senators with the ball under under their own bucket. I think that Tie was game. A out of bounds play there that got kicked out or ball got kicked out of bounds on that. Shelby driving deep and gets fouled. Going to be before the shot. She's yeah. or she's going to go to the line for two anyway. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter now. Yeah. So. Yeah. So Shelby Griffiths goes to the line. She's a 57% free throw shooter on the year. That one up and good. Good job, Shelby. Way to bend your knees. She's been in the, the bat free throw barn. Yeah, she's been playing with kangaroo. <laughs> yeah. You got a name for the kangaroo? Yeah, wizard. And the second one's up and good. That's a two-point lead for the Lady Senators, 145 to go. Senators got to move your feet. Get your hands up in the air. I believe she carried it. Yeah. You know, maybe a little travel on that. And a jump ball. We're going to get a jump ball on that. That's a jump. Yep. Nice job there by the officials. To yeah, Elena Schmidt been on about three or four of those jump balls in these overtimes. The hustle is there. 133 to go. Cougars get the ball inbounds. I want up and no good. Get on the floor, girls. Oh, that'd be no. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. <laughs> blue was the only ones around the ball, and he calls it blue Senator ball. Nation over <laughs> on the far side. You see Kenton Chase and Titan Williams yeah. going crazy on that yeah. one. Yeah. 120 left to go. Senators up two. Ball comes into Froze. She's picked up by Deaton. We keep our composure. Meredith's got a layoff over. You don't need to pick that foul up. Yeah, definitely don't need that foul. Yeah, or that reach. Froze for three. And Meredith's gone. She's going to pick the foul up. Nope, going to be her fourth. Oh, fourth. Is it her fourth? Yeah, because remember they gave the one to, oh, to the yeah, mystery player. Yeah, the mystery, yeah. Now she's gone because that's her fifth. Now's the time where I'm going to have to take the headset off, Craig. Yep. <laughs> I may have to go MIA for a minute here.
lot of commotion going on around here and trying to just cover up what's being said around us more or less, Craig. So we're <laughs> yeah. going to keep talking here. Yeah. Uh, this is this is actually one of the craziest things I've, I've seen in high school girls basketball. We're going to go with a lineup that's probably 5-2 on the court for the Senators as Meredith Deaton fouls out as the all-time leading scorer. Yeah. In West Washington girls basketball history with 39 points. Yep. I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Wow. It's just wow. Rose goes to the line, knocks down the first one. Three. We're going to shoot five free throws all together here <laughs> and then get the ball. Yeah. Yep. Second one's no good. So, Senators still lead by one. If it makes you feel any better, there have been 32 fouls. 32. Called in this half. I think there was one game that we had 32 fouls in the third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember which one it was. I just wish I could show our listeners my tally sheet of fouls over here. <laughs> so I'm not, not going to count against you because I believe you. <laughs> So we're going to go back to the line. Marley Warren is now at the line. Cougars trail by one. That one up and good. So it's now tied 77 77. 106 left to go. Warren knocks the second one down. Now it's going to be Lady Cougar ball. Yeah, if we, could, we need to get Warren on the, in the fouls. Warren's had. I know we don't keep track of it by quarter, but Warren has had all of the points for the most part, except for the last second threes that uh, Froze hits. She goes down the lane. That's a two-point bucket for her. Laney Cameron. Laney Cameron. Laney Green, that's her mom, Carrie Green, <laughs> but... Cameron, however you want to say it. But. It's a good foul. Yeah. Senators down one. They're going to see, send Froge to the line. Laney Cameron with her first foul. Froge a couple of bounces. Knocks that one in. Throws a good three point or free throw shooter. 57% I mean, on the year. How much so. does that give her for this evening? Uh, that's going to be 22. 22, yeah. So that's going to be a timeout for the Lady Senators. We're going to stick with you right here. Lady Cougars do lead by two, 81 79, 39.6 to go. Uh, we're in the better part of two and a half hours yeah. for this game. So, um, 10 o'clock bedtime ain't going to go very yeah, good today. It, it ain't going to happen tonight. <laughs> we get home, feed the kids, suffer. <laughs> they haven't had a hot dog and, no. and popcorn or something? We need to see if the concession stands can open back up tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Close them down and then open them back yeah. up. Yeah. So, like I said, Senators do trail by two. It is going to be their ball um, after this. Well, I'll take that back. She's going to shoot another free throw. And then it'll be Senator Ball, hopefully right. either out of bounds or best case scenario is Senators get a rebound off a missed free throw. But with our lineup out there, we don't have a person out there over 5-4. I'm, I'm going to tell you, Craig, we, I think I jinx us every time we talk about pregame and everything. <laughs> so, like, from now on, when you want me to give a pregame stat, I'm going to say, I think we're the smallest team out there, and we're probably going to lose. Well, we're, we're definitely the smallest <laughs> team out there right now. Uh, it's amazing. That one up and good for Froge. Yeah. We get the ball in. It comes across to Schmidt, off to Brown. Yeah. Over to Griffiths. Griffiths for three. That's good. Oh, airballed it. It will look good from here. He looked real good. Laney Cameron going to get on that jump ball. Going to give Senators back possession. Senator ball, three-point lead for the Lady Cougars, 26.7 left to go. Ball, 
surely been out of bounds there, I would thought, but we got possession, so. <laughs> Schmidt down the lane, yeah. nothing going, turnover for the Lady Senators. And that's the one we do not want to foul. Yeah, anybody but Marley Warren. He picked that one up, Emma Schmidt. <laughs> yeah. Good news, she didn't foul out. Yeah. That's only her first, though. So back to the line goes Marley Warren. She misses that one. Second one, knocks it in. We're going to need Hot Grow to stop and pop. Too much dribbling. Yeah, we're wasting too much time. Quick that shot. One no good. And plenty of time left to do something there. Two point three left to go. Cougar's gonna take a timeout here. We're gonna stick with you. <clears throat> it's gonna take some Reggie Miller time yeah. to happen here. The problem is the clock doesn't stop and they don't have to take it out of bounds. So yeah. the Cougars pretty much have this one wrapped up. Yeah, she's, she's sewed up in the bag. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of craziness going on here the last oh, fourth quarter into the overtime. Wait, three overtimes in now? Yeah. Three yep. overtimes into this thing. And, you know, it's, a, it's been a hard-fought game here for the Senators. <laughs> and it's, you know, definitely not – Hometown referees, I promise you that. Nope. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, five uh, or three senators fouling out tonight, or four senators fouling out. We got I forgot to get Meredith's other foul on there. Uh, Lily Thompson fouls out. Jayla Bat fouls out. Meredith Deaton fouls out. Ava Woods fouls out. We may need to see what the record is for most teammates fouling out in a game. <laughs> I don't know. We got to be close. So 2.3 left to go. It's going to be an offensive yeah, we're foul. Get a foul. There's, a, there's a little favor. Yeah. Yeah, offensive foul. We got to, it's not free throws, fouls. We take the ball out. We got to get something yeah. up in the air. That one gets up in the air. No good. So, Senator's going to lose this one. 83-79. I'm not going to run down all the stats. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to highlight them. So, yeah. Meredith Deaton ends the game with 39 points. Highest total ever for a for a uh, lady senator. Jayla Bat ends up with 12. Lily Thompson with two, Emma Schmidt with, or sorry, Lily Thompson with eight, Emma Schmidt with two, Shelby Griffiths with four, Alana Schmidt with two, Laney Cameron with two, Adele Brown with five. So as you see, presentation there to Meredith Deaton, 39 points most ever in a game here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court. Uh, Layla Manship with three. And Ava Woods with two. That is not enough to get the Lady Senators a win tonight. So, with that, Ryan, final thoughts. You know, Craig, I, I tell you what, we we come out here and, and we and we played hard. You know, the girls played hard. They they did everything good. Uh, we you know we got into quarter trouble, went into the overtime. There's some maybe some errors. We we can't you know we can't do nothing about the referees. We can't you know we can we can't complain about that. We just got to learn from what we did. We got to learn to keep our hands. You know, you know, every every call that we that they made tonight wasn't a bad call. You know, just you know, there's times where we was in the wrong spot. You you know, fouls, fouls, fouls. We got to get out of foul trouble. Uh, Ava, Jayla, 
uh, Meredith, we can't be in foul trouble and be bigs here tonight. You're exactly uh, right. You know, like I say, we're, we're, we're a young team, and we're, you know, but we guess what? Christmas is over. We're halfway through the season, and we got to start playing for that sectional title. I think there's, I don't know how many games are left, but I'm going to guess around nine or ten left at the most. And, you know, we got to get out there and start performing, and we got to start doing things right. I think, I think the Senators got to come in here. They're going to face the toughest schedule that they've ever faced coming into the last part of the season, yeah. and it's going to be hit and miss between now and, and what happens at the end of, you know, tonight's game. And moving on to the next, you know, we play Rock Creek. That one there could be an okay one. And then we go back into the, uh, you know, the uh, Christian Academy, or is that Christian Academy and then Crawford County, Paoli, yeah. all ranked teams in there. And, and you know, like I say, we got we to gotta make sure that we are coming out every game from now on and playing like it's a sectional title. You know, you're exactly right. So with that, we're going to send it back over to regular programming, and we will be live with you tomorrow, boys, at Perry. We will have that game live for you here on West Washington Livestream and WWSR.